guys, as you saw from the title of this video, these are not any ordinary sunglasses. These are the Sangstray 2 Hayden 5035 Smart Glasses. That's quite a long name, but I'm pretty excited to showcase to you guys what this actually does. Essentially, these are Bluetooth glasses that you can use to play back music and also take phone calls with. Let's go ahead and unbox this and I'm going to showcase to you guys how this works, how it looks and more importantly how it sounds. So let's dive straight in. So starting off, these glasses come in at $199. They're not the cheapest sunglasses out there and they're not the cheapest smart glasses out there but they are very high quality and we'll go and decide to see how much this is value for money. So it comes in this very nice designed cream case, which actually doubles up as a charging case to power the sunglasses. You'll see there at the bottom, there's a USB-C port to charge the actual glasses, and there's a LED indicator light there. I'll talk a little bit about the battery life and I'll go through the glasses in a second. Let's see what else is in the box just underneath here. So a few accessories. We've got ourselves some additional nose bits to put in between the frames. We've got a microfiber cleaning cloth for the frames themselves. So you have a key ring here, which actually, if you screw this off, this is a tiny little screwdriver if you wanted to remove the front frames because the frames themselves are detachable and replaceable with other frames that you can find on the Sangstray website. You've got a USB to USB-C charging cable. Then you've got a safety information booklet with the user guide right here. So pretty excited to try these out. Let's go ahead and first take a look at the design of the glasses. So let's open this up. There you see the glasses themselves and you'll see inside as well the magnetic clips to charge the glasses via the frame handles. So let's go ahead and take a look at the glasses. They come in matte black and you can also get them in bright black as well. So a couple of different color options but you can also change the frames if you'd like to. On each of the handles, on the temples on the right and the left, you have yourself the Shangstray logo. You'll find the components of the glasses and the battery inside this metal block here that runs through the temple on each side. If you use the screwdriver that's included in the box, then you can use that to unplug the side handles and replace the frames themselves. The first time you take this out of the case, it will be in pairing mode. The first time I connected it, it shows up there SS2 Hayden, very quick and easy to connect via Bluetooth. The first time you take it out of the case, it is going into pairing mode. You do get some audio confirmations once it is connected and also disconnected and when the pairing is complete. So that's quite a nice touch. The speakers themselves, you'll notice there's two that are on top of the handles here. So just there on the left and the right. Then you'll also have some speakers underneath at the back side here on the curves themselves that kind of fit around your ears. Now with some of the technical specifications around the audio, this does have AAC HD audio decoding, which provides 24 bit codec to give you some really good immersive experience with the audio. This is kind of like open air, open stereo, which does create kind of like a spatial audio type experience that I've experienced with other headphones in the past. The first time I tried this and played some music back, it felt like I was playing music back directly from my phone speakers, but in fact they were coming directly from this and it took me a while to understand the music was coming directly from the glasses. So that's how immersive these actually sound because it did confuse me right at the beginning, but I see that as a positive sign. In terms of the lenses themselves, they are nylon HD polarized sunglasses, which can effectively block glare and improve the clarity and contrast so that you can see all of the details at a glance very easily. And a few other specifications just to mention, this does have Bluetooth 5.1 and it does give you a connection distance of up to 10 meters away from your phone. And it is IPX4 water resistant, which means it can protect from splashing water and maybe a little bit of light drizzle when you do use this possibly outdoors when it's raining. So let's just talk a little bit about the battery life. In conjunction with the charging case, this has a battery capacity of 1300 milliamp hours. With that, you can charge the case via the USB-C port in two and a half hours, and the glasses themselves can charge fully in about one hour, which is a very quick and convenient time. And on a full charge, you will have up to five hours of constant music playback. If you do use this for phone calls, then you can get up to four hours of phone call time, 
and then on standby mode this can last up to 15 hours so pretty good amount of usage time in these glasses because if you are going to use this maybe outdoors when it's very sunny you're in the park then getting five hours of playback i think is going to be more than enough for the amount of time you're going to be using this for Outside of that, you can just generally use this as a really great set of sunglasses to maybe when you're using that in your daily life. And I will showcase some example use cases of when I have tried that. Now these are smart glasses, so they wouldn't actually be smart if you couldn't control your music directly from the glasses themselves. And there's a few ways you can do that. When you double tap the left temple, this will allow you to access your phone's voice assistant. So I've got an iPhone, so this should open up Siri. If you have an Android phone, it can open up Google Assistant. If you double tap the right temple, this can play and pause music, or you can answer and hang up phone calls. If you go back to the left-hand side, if you swipe, this can actually switch between previous and next songs. So the direction back will go to the next song, direction forward will go to the previous song. And then likewise on the right-hand side, the swiping on this side will actually adjust the volume. So you can go volume up and volume down, which I think is convenient because these are all of the commands that you'll ever need when you are using this to listen to music. So I'm gonna place a song here and the phone is already connected to the glasses. So you'll hear the audio coming directly from the speakers on these glasses. And I'll try out some of these commands. Okay, let's try to access Siri by double tapping the left temple. There we go, you can see Siri popped up. It took actually a couple of attempts, but it did work. So now I'm going to pause the music by double tapping on the right hand side. You hear a confirmation beep that the music is paused. Let's go ahead and continue playing. There we go. I do it roughly around the beginning of the Sang Shui logo just there, and it does work. Let's go ahead and do some of the swiping commands. So from the left side, I'm going to swipe. So swiping backwards towards the end, we'll go to the previous song. If you're already halfway through a song, it will replay it. Go forward. It goes to the next song. Now it does take a couple of attempts in my opinion. I feel like this could be a little bit more responsive. But overall, the fact that this does work and it can maybe use your songs if you don't have your phone with you. Maybe you're going out for a run. You've left your phone to the side. It's just a quick and easy way to control your music. And then let's go ahead and final test, change the volume. So that was pretty quick. And the volume is going down as I swipe back towards the ears. Let's put the volume up. Not too bad. In fact, I do like the design of these. Although you might find that the handles on the sides are a little bit chunkier than your traditional sunglasses, but that's kind of expected if you are going to have smart glasses like this. Let's go ahead and put this on. These actually suit me very well. And these are the type of design that I look for in my purchases of sunglasses anyway. So the fact that I have smart glasses inbuilt into the same type of design that I prefer, I just think that's a quick bonus. So this is what it looks like from the side. And in fact, you can't even tell that they are smart glasses from the side. You're not going to be able to see the speakers that are just there on the top. One thing to mention about the speakers as well, you're probably wondering, there's going to be quite a lot of noise leak. These technically are open air stereo sunglasses. So the noise will be coming out, not directly into your ears. But I would say this is tailored for people that are maybe using this in an, a very large open space in a park where you're not going to have a lot of people around you or even in your back garden privately. If you go for a run maybe in the sun and you just want to wear this and you have your phone strapped in your pocket or on your side, wherever it may be, this will be very suitable for that. This is also suitable for people that just don't generally like wearing in-ear headphones and maybe their ears start hurting after listening to music for an hour, for example. You eliminate that need with having something like this. 
if you just want to call your friends and just sit in your back garden and you know enjoy the sun at the same time then you can just use something like this and i'll be testing the phone quality as well because it does have inbuilt microphones in there the speakers that are on the top of the temples kind of offset the speakers and the audio that comes from underneath that are curved around your ears the ones underneath give you louder audio coming directly towards your ears and less so from the top to minimize that type of noise leak so if i go ahead and continue playing a music i'll play it at 50 percent volume just so you guys can hear how much noise leak there would be if you are in a quiet space and you wanted to use this outdoors maybe where there's not much ambient noise in the background and there could be people around you. Okay, so this is 50% and my microphone is just here to the side. So it is very close and it's a very sensitive shotgun microphone. So it will definitely pick up the audio coming from these glasses. But just to showcase to you guys, I am gonna put it to 100%, but I don't recommend anyone using this at 100% because you will guarantee other people are going to hear what you're hearing. That is very loud. So just gonna pause that for a second. And if I can describe to you the quality of the audio, I would say the first time I was listening to this, I didn't know where the audio was coming from because I had my phone in my hand and I thought it was coming from the speakers on my phone and not from the glasses. It's only when I took them off and saw that they're coming from these speakers, that's what made it surprising to me that that gives you that type of immersive audio because it feels like it's coming from all different types of directions. And you guys may have noticed that it automatically pauses once I do take it off my head, which does make it essentially a little bit more smart. So let's do one more test again. I'll just put the volume up. You guys can hear. Automatically pauses but it doesn't automatically play when you put it back. So you'd have to manually start playing again. That's one thing to be aware of, which I think is absolutely fine. But if maybe they have a second iteration of these types of glasses, then that's something that they could implement. All right guys, and the final test that I wanna do is to call someone and get their opinion to see how the audio quality is from the microphone coming directly from the sunglasses. So I'll go ahead and make a call, switch to SS2 Hayden. Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I just wanted to test out these new sunglasses that I've got, these smart glasses, and I'm using the microphone that's inbuilt into them. Just wanted to check to see how clearly you can still hear me. Oh yeah, it's quite clear. I thought you were just calling me from your phone. So it's actually coming directly from the glasses, and does it seem like it's you know maybe slightly worse or slightly better than when I normally would call you from my phone? Okay, and I'm just going to do one test um, while you're on the phone. I'm just going to take the glasses off and see if you can still hear me. Can you say something? Hi, yes, yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, so if I take the glasses off, it doesn't put the phone call on hold or anything like that. It just continues keeping the phone live. Okay, cool. That's the test that I really wanted to do. So I just wanted to make sure that the audio is still pretty clear. So thanks for your time. And uh, I'll speak to you later. All right, bye. Bye. I'll say the sound quality, you know, is pretty decent. I've enjoyed using this. I've listened to music while just getting my steps in by going for a walk outdoors in the sun. And the phone call quality, I think, was pretty good. And um, I called my friend and she mentioned that it sounds exactly the same as if I was calling directly from my phone. Didn't really notice much difference. So I think that's pretty good. And I just wanted to, you know, maybe highlight that you don't necessarily need to use these as smart glasses. If you wanted a really good pair of good looking glasses for those sunny summer days, then these are also very good for that. So I've used this in my daily life as well. So let's take a look at some examples there. So I've got my Sang Stray bag here and I'm gonna be wearing the sunglasses on this nice warm sunny day. Generally, you don't need to just use these to use the sound speakers on them. You can just use them for your daily usage. So if you're heading to the park, they make for very comfortable, nice looking sunglasses, generally in your daily life as well. And to be honest, I think these really suit me quite well. And I'm so impressed with the quality of these. And I can see why there's a lot of positive reviews on this online. 
And for me, you know, if I'm just going out and about, for me, this is another set of sunglasses that I'm just going to keep with me at all times, especially for sunny days, especially when I go traveling and I want to take really nice photographs. This would look really nice with that as well. So for me, it's a big thumbs up. And anyone that's on the market for something like this, then I think, you know, if you are a techie, then you hit two birds with one stone. You get a nice set of speakers when you are maybe going for a run in the sun, or if you just want to get some really good pair of sunglasses, this does both jobs. So for me, it's a great job. So with these ones, I can use this pretty much all day when it's sunny up until when it gets to sunset because I see everything so clearly with these on. They're not as dark as my existing aviators, which just makes it a little bit more comfortable for me to now use these as my daily driving sunglasses when the sun is out. So I'm quite impressed of how much I can actually use these apart from just using the speakers in them in my daily life. So, you know, I'm quite impressed on that front. So overall, you know, I'm pretty happy with these. Hopefully that review is very useful for you. The same straight to Hayden, do check them out. Link is in the description. They don't just do these ones, they also do various different options. You can even get clear frames as well. These are detachable, removable side handles, which you can replace with any other type of colored frames if that's something you prefer. So take a look at the link in the description. Let me know if you guys have any other comments. And before I even got to know about these sunglasses, I wouldn't have known how much I would actually enjoy using these. So I can see myself using this more and more often, especially in those summer days. They would make really good for driving. If I'm just going out and I just want to listen to some music, I go for walks quite often as well. And just having the sunglasses on and don't have to worry about getting my headphones and charging them up. This is kind of like two in one and it just does a really good job in, on all fronts. So that's about everything I wanted to showcase to you guys. So if you found that review useful, make sure to give this video a huge like. Make sure to subscribe. I cover new reviews out every week with really cool tech gadgets, much like this. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.